or 10A and other HFC refrigerants finally banned 100%. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about a law that was just recently passed in the state of California. And you might say, well, I'm not in the state of California. Why does this matter to me? And I'm gonna give you two reasons why, if you stick around to the end, on why this should matter to you. But before we get to that, let's talk about this new law that California just recently passed. During the recording of this video, we are amidst the phasing out of 410A refrigerant, the AIM Act being passed a couple years ago, and we've already started the phase out of 410A refrigerant. This past year, we had a reduction in 410A by 10% because of the AIM Act. But in addition to that, now California has gone one step further, on September 30th, 2022, California Governor Gavin Newsom signed into law a Senate Bill 1206, which prohibits the sale or distribution of bulk HFCs that exceed a specified GWP. And the reason that's important is we're going to talk about in just a second, but all of these refrigerants have a GWP rating. Some of them coming out already exceed this rating. And so this means that in the near future, it will no longer be possible to buy virgin refrigerants such as R410A, 404A, 134A, and reclaimed refrigerant will be the only option to service existing air conditioners and commercial refrigeration equipment. When they say virgin, it means it's new. It's never been in a heating and air system before. If it's not virgin refrigerant, it's you know been reclaimed. It's possibly been cleaned up. There are places that will take reclaimed refrigerant and what they do to it exactly uh, is a whole nother story. But ultimately, if it's virgin refrigerant, you won't be able to use it in the state of California if it exceeds these ratings. Under the new bill starting January 1st, 2025, so it's not going to kick into effect right away, but that's right around the corner. The sale of bulk refrigerants exceeding a GWP rating of 2200 or higher, such as 404A and 507, will no longer be allowed. As of January 1st, 2030, the GWP may not exceed 1500, so the sale of bulk 410A will be prohibited, and that's 100%. There's no phase out with that, right? It's they're saying on this date, no more. And on January 1st, 2033, the GWP may not exceed 750. Now, why is that important? I, I think that's huge right there because I did a video recently where we talked about the first drop-in refrigerant for 410A refrigerant. So, right? So, so we're phasing out 410A and you're going to have people out there that still have 410A equipment in their home. And just like years ago when we had R22 equipment, they started coming out with these replacement refrigerants or drop-in refrigerants. And I did a video recently for the first drop-in replacement refrigerant for 410A refrigerant. So RS53, it already, I believe, exceeds that 750 GWP rating. I believe it's just under a thousand. So that that tells you right there that this 410A refrigerant equipment, even the newest drop-ins for it, or at least the first one, is not going to pass with these standards here in California. The bill's sponsor, Senator Nancy Skinner, said that her bill was necessary because Californians agree the magnitude of climate crisis demands we accelerate action now. SB 1206 will buy us precious time in our fight to protect the climate by cutting emissions of the powerful but short-lived pollutants used in refrigerators and air conditioners. And this article goes on to talk about some of the different opinions or you know, people on the other side arguing against this new law, but the law's now been passed. And unless that bill or law is reversed, then this is gonna go into effect. A lot of this stuff, we've done other videos on this. A lot of this stuff, it's it's stuff that's coming down the pike anyway. There are already, of course, we talked about the AIM Act and we are already seeing where certain refrigerants are going to be eventually phased out or at least starting to be phased down. But this sort of speeds up that process, if you will. Now, why do I think that this matters? Why is this something that matters to you, whether you live in California or not? I think there are two things that could be affected by this that you should be aware of. The first of those is, obviously, if we're talking about refrigerants being phased out, whether it's one state or many states, there is a chance that this could affect pricing in the market. And you might say, well, Josh, there's less demand there. That you know, Now we've got this pool of refrigerants 
and one state is now going to be taking less of that pie, if you will. Well, I think that's a valid argument, but as we all know, we rarely see prices go down anyway. And I think that because you've got all this equipment now that's gonna to need to be replaced, I think that the opposite might be true, that you might actually see prices go up even more now. Of course, we've all been talking about that. We've seen prices going up because of phase outs and things going on in the world today. But I think it's possible that it's gonna affect the pricing no matter what. But the second thing that I think this could do is you might see other states now get on board with this as well. So you're gonna see California kind of pave the way for other states to now jump on board with this as well and speed up the process. So whether you're in California or any other state, you're gonna see the HVAC industry not only being affected, we've talked about that in other videos on how this affects the market, how this affects the price of heating and air equipment to folks like you, the consumer, but now we're seeing this all be sped up even more. 750 GWP is not that much higher than some of the other refrigerants that we're seeing come out today. And I also think that it's very possible that at any moment they could just lower that as well so they could say look we're going to drop this now to 500 or even zero and the last thing i'll say is whenever you see timetables like this it is possible that you may see things rush to market right before they're fully tested we're already seeing some of these refrigerants that are mildly flammable come to the market if they pay closer attention to this gwp rating forcing products and even regulations to drop quicker than possible for a lot of these companies to properly vet some of these products to properly decide what's safe and what's not for your home. God forbid they start putting stuff in that's unsafe for homes just to meet these requirements. Let me know your thoughts. There's obviously changes coming every day. It seems like something new is coming out definitely every week or month. We're starting to see things change in the HVAC industry. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.